is uh, Paul Palmer. Uh, this is my clock shop. I opened this shop over five years ago with my best friend Dave. Uh, for both of us, it's a passion more than a business. We absolutely love antique clocks. We like discussing clocks with people, taking them apart, fixing them, up, bringing old dead clocks back to life. We, we like seeing people, we like people, we're, we're, we're people people. We like to discuss things with them, show, show them their, their clocks, tell them about the history, the intricacies of the mechanisms. All these things fascinate us. I mean, myself, I've been collecting clocks as a hobby for over 40 years now. I mean, it was always my dream to open a shop in retirement. Um, I did some informal training earlier on in my life of collecting them. Uh, over the years, I've become some sort of expert, I suppose, and uh, ended up here. This is a lifelong dream. It's a wonderful, magical place for people, and I like whether people buy anything or not, I'd like to discuss things, show them around the shop. It's a wonderful, wonderful, magical place. Here is quite an interesting clock. It's a French made clock. Late Victorian carriage clock. It's what they call a repeating clock. Uh, it has a little button on the top which will repeat the last hour when you press the, uh, the little knob. Uh, but this is even more special. It's uh, a quarter repeating clock, so it will also repeat not only the hours but the quarters as well. Um, I had quite a lot of trouble getting this one working because it's quite quite complex and there's a lot of little niggles on it, but it's it's going uh, really well really really well now it's, uh, it's a super clock well i would say this is probably the oldest clock in the shop at the moment it's made somewhere in the 1720s um, it's uh, absolutely um, super um, five pillar movements internal count wheel all the things you'd expect from a clock that that's early features that you don't see later on um, it's made by John Ball's Newport Pagnell. Um, I, I, bought, I bought it at local auction and, and I got it very well. It was just, uh, people just missed this. It was just standing there in the corner. Nobody realised the age, but I saw it from miles away. absolute super local clock uh, made about 1770 uh, by uh, Robert Bleak, Newport Isle of Wight. Very very nice. It's, it's, it's all Isle of Wight style features. This typical rounded top is typically Isle of Wight. This has got a really really nice case. Lovely um, figured mahogany case with very subtle inlays. Lovely engraved dial. It's, it's everything you want in an island clock. Most um, island long cases tend to be a bit naively made. This is a super one. <laughs> 